power of solidarity. It's a testament to the power of hope, resilience, and a refusal to let fear stop us from doing anything. My heart is gonna beat right out of my chest for all the love that I feel here today, it's incredible. Seriously. You know, as is often the case when an issue that has been shrouded in darkness for such a long time is suddenly thrust into the light, there's widespread shock and disbelief over how something so evil could happen, and not just happen, but happen so ubiquitously. And the answer is plain and simple. Silence. Evil thrives in silence. Yes, yes. Behaviour unspoken, behaviour ignored, is behaviour endorsed. But if one of these barriers to progress is silence, like I've just identified, which is quite simple, it gives me hope. Because the start of the solution is also quite simple. Making noise! against the wall recently because these are not explosive revelations, these are common sense ideas, whatever happened to connecting yeah. with our fellow human beings and supporting each other and empowering each other and listening. It's not that hard to love. It starts with conversation and from conversation, education is born. We've seen a lot of focus in our governments on responses to child sexual abuse and sexual assault and violence against women as if we just have to accept it as a fact of life in our society and I do not believe that that is right. When we share with each other we heal, not just as individuals but therefore as a collective. It's so powerful. And from the conversations, like I said, we have education. And the education we can use to properly inform structures and create actual concrete change. We've already done that. Anything that we can rethink and reimagine can be actually redefined and reformed. Nothing is fixed. Reclaim, that's right, I like that word. I've seen a lot of great words out here today. Every woman has a story, that's right. Every person has a story. The pursuit of progress does not have to be adversarial. There is an imbalance, obviously. That's why we're here today. Women are worse off. But men are not the enemy. Behaviour, corrupt behaviour, always has been and always will be the enemy. I don't have much else to say today. And I love all of you implicitly. You know, often I see people deterred from taking action because they doubt the value of their contribution. What's my signature on a petition or what's my five cent donation here? But I encourage you to think of your contribution not as an isolated gesture, but as a little domino in a long, unending line of dominoes. That's all you need to be. Just be a domino. It's terrifying having these conversations. I'm terrified just as you are. Right? But fearlessness is not so much an absence of fear. It's a refusal to let it stop us moving forward. Oh, yeah. So when you see abuse, when you hear abuse, let it know it's there and that you're not afraid to stand up to it. 
Just as you can be a domino in a positive line moving forward, you can also be that little domino that stops the negative culture from continuing. Years ago, it'll be 10 years next month actually, that I made a choice to stand up against a man who repeatedly raped me and used to boast to me about other girls that he had raped before he raped me. I'm not going to name him, he doesn't deserve any airtime. But I was afraid of doing something until a different kind of fear usurped that fear, and that was the fear of doing nothing. The fear of doing nothing should outweigh your fear of doing something. Before, oppression comes in many forms. We all have different stories. But there's one common thread, and that's abuse of power. And we have a common core humanity that can stand up to that. They have no power. They have no power, that's right. The power, the power belongs to us. And the power, that power is love. Keep on living. Keep on listening, keep on learning, but always keep on loving. Tazzy, you bloody rock!